Hi, my name is Ingmar Lauer and in this Vertex video tutorial, I'd like to explain how the Canvas Offset property works. Any of you not familiar with Vertex's Canvas Surface Output model? Well, no problem. Here's a little recap just for you. In Vertex, our compositing space is called Canvas. Let's put some content on it. Now, a surface comes and picks up the textures of the content and sends them to the physical outputs of the GPU. Now, the cool thing about Vertex is its complete hardware independence that allows you to program your show without really knowing the exact number of uh, final displays in the scenery. And for this flexibility, we need our three stages of canvas, surface and output. Now, let's assume we have a scenery where one large image needs to be played out on two system outputs. We'll need to assign two surfaces now and map each one of them to the corresponding outputs. Let me show you how it's done in Vertex. Now I've set up my project's workspace view with two render editor windows. The one on the top shows me my canvas, my compositing space, and the one on the bottom is set to system number two, displaying all the outputs. Usually when creating a new Vertex project, the canvas surface output setup is done automatically by the reference size of your Windows desktop. However, in our special case, let's start from the scratch and assign the surfaces manually by right clicking onto the canvas and choosing create new surface from the context menu. Next, the add new surface dialog appears where we assign a system output from the drop down menu. We'll map it to system number two, output one and confirm it with OK. Et voila, we just got ourselves a new surface that successfully links our canvas to output number one. Now let's correct the canvas offset of surface one. We uh, can select surface one and the project explorer and you see a little gizmo appearing. If we click into its center, we can move the surface around over the canvas and you can see that by changing the canvas offset, the surface will pick up pretty much any texture from any given area and routes it to output number one. So one can either set the canvas offset manually by clicking onto the gizmo and moving the surface about, or we could go to the inspector window and type in the value of the exact position where we need surface number one to be. In that case, minus 960 pixels and zero on the Y axis. And now surface number one is neatly mapped to the left side of our canvas. The right side is still empty. So let's create another surface. Surface number two, we'll set it to system two, output two and confirm with OK again. And the second surface has magically appeared. Let's correct its offset real quick. And now I'm too lazy to move it around manually. So let's go straight to the inspector window and type in the value of 960 positive this time because we want to map to the output on the right. And that's how you route one large image via two surfaces to two individual outputs. And let me conclude that this workflow enables users to create manifold solutions for any possible surface output setups, including multiple surfaces in one output. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this information useful and uh, keep tuned for more videos on this channel. Click subscribe. Cheers. Thank you. Bye bye.